Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to do the second part of this problem. The first part is finding the inverse of A. 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1 by row reduction. Afterwards, use this to solve the following system of equation. x plus 2y plus z equal to minus 1. 2x plus 6y plus 2z equal to 4. And 2x plus z equal to 3. Notice that the system equation given is equivalent to x plus 2y plus z equal to minus 1. If you multiply the second equation by half, then you notice the second equation 2x plus 6y plus 2z equal to 4 is the same as x plus 3y plus z equal to 2. x plus 3y plus z equal to 2. And then the first and third equation remain the same. Therefore, this system equation can be rewrite into a metric form where 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, and 2, 0, 1 as a metric multiplied by x, y, z will be equal to minus 1, 2, 3. Now, this metric is actually the given metric A. Therefore, to solve this equation, we can multiply both sides on the left by a inverse. All right, so multiply both sides by the left by A inverse if there is A inverse. Now A inverse times A is the identity map, identity matrix, where the identity in this case, if this is true, where I is this 3 by 3 matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, identity matrix times x, y, z, we know that it will still be x, y, z here. So, x, y, z, in this case, is A inverse minus 1, 2, 3. Alright? So, the whole thing is finding A inverse now. Now, based on the, our earlier calculation in another video, that A inverse happened to be minus 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 6 minus 4 minus 1. So x, y, z equal a inverse times minus 1, 2, 3 become x, y, z equal to a inverse is 3 minus 3, 2, 1, minus 1, 1, 0, 6 minus 4 minus 1 times minus 1, 2, 3. So when you multiply them, metric multiplication, you get first row times first column, and you got this answer. This will give you 10. Now, if you use a second row down the first column, then you get this information, and it'll give you 3. If you use a third row times a column there, then it'll give you this value, which is minus 17. So, let's say that x, y, z equal to x equal to 10, y equal to 3, z equal to minus 17. So now, let's check the answer by calculator. We have an equation ax is equal to b. So x equal a inverse b. So all we need to do is find out a inverse times b. So let me use my calculator and help me. So now, I press the menu and then execute and run and put in the metric now. So metric a in this case, it's 3 by 3 matrix. So I'm going to enter 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1. That is the matrix A. Then, after I finish, I'll press exit. I want to enter my matrix B now. Now B, and then execute there, is a 3 row, 1 column matrix. 3 row, 1 column metric, press and execute again, and then you enter the entry for B minus 1, 2, 3. So this is entry for B. After you finish, press exit, press exit again. I want to do some metric multiplication, A inverse times B. So I'm going to press option, do F2 for metric. So F1 metric now. So alpha A, so this metric A 
inverse so i need to raise the power minus one minus one then multiply by metric b so i'm going to multiply by metric b f1 for metric alpha for b alpha b so let's multiply and see what do i get i'll find that the answer is 10 3 minus 17 which is correct and agree with our calculation earlier let's check here our calculation earlier was 10 3 minus 17 all right so that finished our calculation for this part